patients who have been bedridden for a long time are at risk of the immobilization syndrome and complications connected with it. It is therefore necessary to do rehabilitation exercises with all of these clients. Exercises can be either passive or active. Passive exercise means that the client is not able to perform the exercises on his or her own, and the nursing staff or rehabilitation staff perform the exercises for him. The importance of these exercises must be explained to the client. They prevent not only muscle shortening and their subsequent contraction, but they also increase blood flow and speed up the client's recovery, return to health. This is actually the essential meaning of the word rehabilitation. As a demonstration, we show the client a lower limb exercise. For clients who are able to perform the exercises themselves, we check their active exercising. It can be done on a bed or on exercise balls. At the same time, we can also practice proper and regular breathing with the client. We invite the client to inhale through the nose while lifting the upper limbs above the head, followed by exhalation through the mouth while releasing the upper limbs down. We can repeat this five times. Then we can stretch the cervical spine and at the same time exercise fingers on the hands. This is also done five times. Exercise can take 15 to 20 minutes a day for older clients. Patients who have been bedridden for a long time are at risk of the immobilization syndrome and complications connected with it. It is therefore necessary to do rehabilitation exercises with all of these clients. They prevent not only muscle shortening and their subsequent contraction, but they also increase blood flow and speed up the client's recovery, return to health. As a demonstration, we show the client a lower limb exercise. We invite the client to inhale through the nose while lifting the upper limbs above the head, followed by exhalation through the mouth while releasing the upper limbs down. Mm -hmm.